All right, so I'm gonna talk about how I approach complicated cityscapes. All right, so I have a show coming up in October at Studio Gallery in San Francisco. So I'm doing a bunch of 14 by 28s, and I just thought this would be an opportunity to maybe share with you guys the process. The process for painting these is a little different from how I approach uh, like a landscape painting or a plein air painting. Typically what I do is I will go up to the city, walk around, take a bunch of photographs, digital images, load them onto my computer, and I will experiment with cropping it in maybe a square or a panorama. This is a one by two ratio. The first step is still to sketch out in burnt sienna. I have done a bit of measuring. On my computer, I put the image, I adjusted the image on my computer screen so that it was seven by 14. Anything I measure on the computer screen, all I have to do is double it, and that's gonna give me my measurement here. So I don't measure everything, but what I'll do is I will uh, like say something like the edge of this building. I will measure out on my computer screen and then I will double that, strike a mark here. And then the same maybe with this line. Also for the edges of cars and the top of cars, creating sort of a box to work within. It sounds like it's kind of a laborious process and it sort of is, but it's a lot faster for me than to kind of just sketch it out and then be correcting everything later. This was kind of complicated. So this sketch took me probably maybe about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And I took my time. I just put some music on. And um, once I'm in this sort of mindset, you know, slowing down to do the measuring and make sure I get the drawing correct, uh, you know, I kind of enjoy that process. What I'll do after I get the sketch done is I take a break and I will walk away from it because the next step is more spontaneous. All right, so here's an example of one that is in it's step two. This is phase two right here. This is a Fort Point in San Francisco. Fort Point is right below the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, this is definitely kind of a technical sort of, I mean, all this you know, ironwork here for the bridge is kind of complicated. I uh, wanted to make sure that it was fairly accurate. Um, also to the lighthouse as well. Uh, this is kind of, you know, kind of technical as well. And I wanted to make sure the proportions were correct. So I did some measuring. Once the sketch was done, then I can come in and be very spontaneous with the brushwork. Uh, provided that the panel is large enough. If you're painting on a small panel, I find, especially if you're painting a complicated scene on a small panel, it's really hard to be spontaneous with the brushwork. There's just not a lot of room to swing the brush. And to be honest with you, this subject could have been done on a two foot by four foot canvas and it would have been probably a better size for it. But I was able to get some interesting brushwork in the bricks here and also in the sky. but, but you know, I had to be pretty careful with all the iron work and also with the, um, with the lighthouse. So the next phase, which I'm not going to show in this video, will just be going and cleaning this up. So I took this as far as I could. This was probably another maybe hour and a half or two hours. So the drawing takes about an hour and a half or two hours. And then to come in with color, the first layer of color takes about, about the same hour and a half to two hours. And then what I'll do is let it dry. I'll live with it for a while. And then I'll come back and do the minimal uh, amount of, you know, cleanup necessary. Usually I'll brighten up the lights and maybe warm them up too, just to make sure I have a convincing feeling of light. Uh, but I try to have the paint, applica uh, the paint application, I try to leave it as it is and have sort of an alla prima kind of approach. Uh, if I was to draw it out and then just paint right away, which I have done. I think, in fact, I did that on this one. I ended up sitting and painting for four, four plus hours. Probably took a break after the drawing. Uh, but sometimes, so sometimes I'll do that like all in one day, but other times I'll do the sketch one day and then the next day I'll just come at it, uh, you know, fresh and go at it straight for like two hours and try to take it as far as I can and, you know, as close to finished as possible. So again, there'll be some cleanup in here, some minimal cleanup but I do like to leave some of the sketchy quality, some of the sketchy qualities of the, of the uh, paint. 
And I used one, pretty much one brush for this, which I believe was a Utrecht Tuscan Series Flat Number no. 6. And it was in kind of bad condition too. Uh, so kind of like painting with a blunt object, so to speak, or a, or a, or a paintbrush that's not super precision. Uh, it keeps me, um, I don't know, I just like the effect. It keeps me from getting too careful and allows some kind of magic to happen. Um, so anyway, that's one. Let me show you another that's uh, also at stage two. Okay, so here's another. This is a cityscape that's at stage two. Uh, so yeah, I did the sketch. This one was fairly complicated. I wanted to make sure these cars in the front row here were, uh, were really accurate. And that's the main thing. The, the cars that are up front need to be more defined. And as you go back, you can just suggest them more. But the ones that are up close obviously need to be a little bit more detailed maybe. And now what I'll do is I will go back in and I'll add some definition. Uh, I'll darken some of the darks as well, um, like say under these awnings. Uh, and then I'll put lines on the street, that sort of thing. But I just wanted to show you guys the process um, you know, of how I go about this because it's definitely a lot different than my plein air paintings. And uh, when I'm like full in the plein air mode, um, doing this kind of painting does not seem to be very appealing to me. I tend to like spontaneous things and fast, you know, like painting quickly. Uh, so I've kind of found a way to have the best of both worlds with, uh, with my paintings. And that is by, again, measuring and taking my time on the drawing. And then I just come in spontaneously and apply the paint the same way I'd apply it with any other painting. And that's with, you know, just kind of quickly and uh, with as large a brush as I possibly can. And then I come in and I just do the minimal cleanup to make it work. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment down below as usual. And thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you in the next video.